The old Hickory Ultra Q is fired up and the smoke is rolling. I got up early this morning, I rolled the pit out, I got two sticks of Hickory in there, fired her up, got her dialed in at about 250 degrees. Now from there I went inside and I went ahead and applied seasoning to the brisket, did absolutely no trim. A couple of years ago I watched an episode of Donner's Drive-Ins and Dives and on that particular episode they were in Texas and this one establishment they went into, they showed how they did their briskets and the way they did it, they took them out of the cryovac, they put a rub on them, they popped them in the smoker, did absolutely no trimming. Big old non-trim brisket. So I thought I'd give that a shot today and just see how it turns out. You can always remove all those pockets of fat after the fact and it will probably pretty much guarantee a juicy brisket. Now this is a choice, this is not a prime, but it was a really good price. It was like $30 off. Got it for $44, 15 pound brisket. But I let my wife pick the seasoning for this since she bought and paid for the brisket. And I laid three different rubs in front of her. I told her to taste each one. And she went with the basic beef from Texas Select Seasoning. So that's what I put on here. I did use a mustard and Worcestershire binder on it. I always do that on pork or beef. Not always necessarily the Worcestershire, but on beef I normally do along with the mustard. I got a good coat of seasoning and we went into the pit around 7.15 a.m., which is about 30 minutes ago. So we're just getting this thing started. I'll be bringing you back periodically. We'll put a check on it, probably let it go about three hours and then at that point, see if it needs a spritz. But other than that, we're just gonna let it sit here and cook. Take another look at it real quick. And so you know, I did spin this around at the four hour mark. We've been going about five hours. It don't need spritzing at all. It's starting to get a pretty decent looking bark on there too. We just gonna let it keep going. Gonna bring you up to speed here. Last time I showed you where I had flipped it 180 degrees or spun it 180. I haven't flipped it, not gonna flip it. But now I've turned it, rotated 90 degrees this way and I'll let it stay like that for about another hour. I did that about an hour ago. So in about an hour, I'll do it again, flip it the opposite direction. I'm only doing that to give it even cooking where everything kind of cooks the same. It's looking good, the bark is definitely developing on this. And uh, hopefully we're gonna have a brisket here ready in about three, maybe four hours. And I will be resting this overnight. I recently did a video with my Vivor warming oven and I'll be using that for the first time. I mainly wanted that for briskets. All right, I wanna go ahead and rotate this one last time internally. According to this thermometer, I'm reading 190. I'm gonna check it with my instant read and see what we got on it. Let's see what we got here. I know one thing, it's getting tender. 186, that's 190 right there. 185, we're still tough. We're 192 here in the flat. But kind of tough right in here. Just rotate it around here. Just like that. Nice bark, man. This end here is pretty tender. This has still got a little ways to go, but that's the flat. That always takes the longest. Close her up. So I'm thinking I got about an hour, hour and a half maybe left on this. Once it's probing tender all the way through, then I'm gonna go ahead and either wrap it in full I do have a pan, but I think it's too small. I don't know if that brisket would fit in that pan or not, but regardless, I'm gonna have it in a container or full, one or the other. And from there, it's going into the Vivor warming oven. I call it holding oven. And we're gonna let it rest overnight, probably 12 hours at 145 degrees. And that will be lunch tomorrow. I'll bring you back for that. But while I got you here, I wanted to do a shout out for myself this time. I have a second channel that I started a little over a month ago. It's a DIY channel. If you're into watching those kind of videos, then come check me out over there. 
I'm covering a whole vast bunch of topics. I've only got, I think, four main videos up so far, maybe five, I really don't know. And uh, I'll be covering everything from HVAC, MVAC, automotive, electrical, you name it, welding, fitting, all sorts of things as time goes. So if you're into that, and I tell you, nowadays, man, with the way the economy is, things are so outrageous as far as getting anything repaired or buying anything. If you can save money by doing it yourself, you're just way ahead is the way I look at it. So regardless, check it out if you're interested in that sort of thing. Just wanted to mention it. I do have this channel. I've had it for going on 12 years, almost 12 years. So I figure I would use this channel to try to get some of my followers over to the new channel. Well, 14 hours later and here we are. It went 14 hours in that Vivor holding oven, warming oven, whatever you want to call it. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that smells good. Oh my goodness, look at the bark on that. Holy crap. Black beauty right there. Well, I'm real pleased with the smell, and I'm real pleased with the color of it. Let's see how our, I can't tell how the grain's going. I didn't really pay much attention to it, so I'm just gonna cut right across. Oh, it's super tender. That's the beauty of holding these things for so long. Even if you had something that might've been just a little bit under by the time you rest it for hours and hours like that it just basically wants to come apart let me try it on this side i'm right-handed oh yeah she's tender which is fine because we're chopping this up anyway i'm not even sure that will even hold together we bought this just for barbecue sandwiches and it's going to be perfect for that it's if i'm in competition or whatever i done lost because this is really that tender but i'm okay with that i love it is it good oh <laughs> really good all right so uh yeah there we go i just wanted to see what the inside looked like let's see if i can hold this up without it falling apart you can see all the juice yeah i don't really see a pronounced smoke ring on this and there wasn't a lot of fat here. Normally fat can prevent you from getting a smoke ring, but Lord knows I poured the smoke to it the entire time. So it wasn't from lack of smoke. Smoke rings absolutely means nothing. The conditions have to be just right to even get a smoke ring. And uh, I'm more wor worried about the flavor. This is for eating folks. This is not a competition. And I'll be honest with you, I would do it again. I would just flop a brisk on there, not trim it, not nothing. I don't have no problem with that whatsoever. All right, we got some toasted. These are just burger buns. Got a light toast on that with some butter. But this barbecue sauce, Trina picked it out, redneck lipstick. Taste of that, that's pretty good stuff. From good old Wally World, I reckon, huh? Okay. So, we're just gonna take, I'm gonna eat about two of these. I think Tarina's gonna eat at least one, maybe two. I put the rest up, it's already in the fridge, and I will separate it later and get it in a vacuum bag. And we will eat on a day or two, and then I'll freeze the rest for a later date. That's what I like right here. This is my favorite th thing to do with brisket, other than maybe a, a brisket grilled cheese. Those are excellent. All right, I think I got enough piled up there. I'll tell you one thing, most of that is the flat, and you can see how much juice is in that. That fat cap left actually helped that because a lot of times that would try to dry out on you. All right, that'd already be plenty of sauce. 
All right, let's do a taste. Oh boy, here we go. Mm. I have been craving that. My goodness. I can tell you one thing, super tender. It's not mushy anymore. It probably would have been. Keep in mind when you hold something, especially 14 hours, even though like when I pulled it, it was like perfect. When you hold it, it still breaks down, even though it's at a low temperature. By the way, I did bring it up to 150, not 145. And um, that's what I held it 14 hours and it continued to break that brisket down. Just be mindful of that. Now I did another brisket on that old hickory not long after I got it. And we only rested it for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours and cut into it. And it was not this tender, but it was actually what you would call perfect for like competition or whatever. I like it like this, really tender. The thing that counts the most, that's the taste. That is very juicy for a flat. Yeah, I absolutely would definitely not trim a brisket again with results like this. If you're just feeding you and your family, save yourself some time. It ain't gotta be pretty. It's just gotta taste good, right? Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope you got something from it. I'm Russ Jones with Smoky Ribs Barbecue.